is a timely motion, an important one for that matter. Um, I have heard what all my colleagues have said, and along that line, I need to bring another angle to it. So this kind of funds are actually like soft targets. They are soft funds, just like the sure P, the flood victim support funds, and others. And therefore, they are opportunistic to abuse. They lend themselves to abuse if they are not closely monitored. And hence the import of this motion. Meanwhile, the problems at hand and on ground at the environments of the victims are really enormous and, conflict and complex. Hence, we need to look at this problem carefully and in particular raise our interest that is the National Assembly on our oversight functioning of all these kind of soft funds. We should not just concentrate on the MDS, but we need to look at this carefully. And since we now have a committee on ground, the IDP's committee and refugees, I think they can work closely with the management of the funds to set up practical criteria for disbursements and what I mean, targeted disbursement so that it can reach those who are properly and directly affected and in time, such that no waste of time, no over disbursement, no under disbursement, and there is no abuse. And these are not rocket science. There are various ways they can monitor, and these funds must also be subjected to national audit. If we do that, I believe we will do our best to ensure that it becomes continuous and it becomes targeted and the yearnings of those who are affected are really taken care of. And I commend Asabe being a victim herself coming from Chibo that we should lend credence to this motion and support it wholeheartedly so that we can achieve. But the catch word here is that there must be proper criteria, guidance and oversight from the National Assembly. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.